Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Cyanogen Mod 13 official for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, Cyanogen Mod is an official version of the ROM for our OnePlus 3 and it's been out for a while now but I really was not able to get through with the official stock Cyanogen mod because I've been always reviewing and using ROMs basically built up from the Cyanogen mod based on Cyanogen mod so I finally decided it was time to just go through with the official basic Cyanogen mod so let's get started now first of all what you would see here is the lock screen which is blurred out lock screen you do have an option to just change it to normal wallpapered lock screen so that is available you do have the silent mode launcher which is pretty nice let's go to the settings menu in the about phone page you can see that it is the a3003 which is the one plus three and you do have that the android version is a marshmallow that is 6.0.1 that is really nice to see now this is a nightly version which I have here which is released on 6-8-2016 and this is 8th right now so that is the latest version as of now right now uh, so you do have that the security patches are the August patches so that is the latest version of patches available for the Android scene so you do have the latest patches so you're covered in that way so that is really nice to see uh, kernel version is CyanogenMod mod uh, 3.18.38 so you do have that dash charging is enabled so that is something which I wanted to take care of in this video uh, you do have dash charging usual all, all the usual cyanogen mod gimmicks are all there and uh, usual problems also there uh, for particularly for me the sim card uh, deactivation of the second sim card does not leave that out it just stays there with its ugly face staring at me so yeah uh, in the display and light options you do have live display which is a standard feature you do have that you can actually customize that uh, into a standard or dynamic also which is pretty amazing you do you can have a automatic mode which changes the temperature according to the proximity sensor and the front facing camera automatic out outdoor mode will bump up the brightness when you are outdoors so that's really nice color calibration is available so pretty nice to see that ambient display is available and it does have those more options which i will get to in uh, at th some time prevent accidental wake up is available using the proximity sensor so that's really nice to see lcd density can be changed to any of these values 400 is my favorite one and you can use that fun size fun size can be customized and this is a slider rather than anything else so i am very very uh useful I, i'm really appreciate i really appreciate that because you can actually uh feather customize whatever you want notification light and battery lights are there and with choose colors automatically so that is really nice to see in theme option now it does have a theme this is Cyanogen Mod, so this will have Cyanogen Mod theme engine, so nothing special in there, but that's something which I really, really appreciate. I really like the Cyanogen Mod theme engine. I personally use that in my daily driver, so yeah. It does have headset notification enabler or disabler, so you can have that. Lock screen settings, you do have fingerprint and swipe settings. Uh, nothing special there. I would have, I'm kind of missing the gesture unlock uh, setting, which was available in earlier versions of Cyanogen Mod, which I would have liked to have see in this one, so yeah. Here is the blur background option, so if you disable that, it will show up as a normal wallpaper, so you can also have that. Lost screen shortcuts is available, you can customize this to anything else, so nice to see that. Uh, weather option is enabled, which is basically see clock option, it will come up in the lock screen also, so yeah. Buttons, now this is the basic button settings, you can customize the home button or recent button into whatever you need to have. When you double tap it or long press it, so that is available. Also volume control is available for playback and keyboard cursor control which I personally use a lot of times. So additional buttons are available where you can uh, swap the swap the button configuration and uh, it does work. I, I actually am calibrated using the old Oxygen OS style uh, usage of the uh, LS slider so that does really work. Ambient display options you do have a few options like a tilt sensor these are all working and this works as expected so that is something which I want to uh, address in this although there weren't any problems I faced in this ROM so that's pretty nice gesture settings in the gesture settings you do have these stock gestures of oxygen os that is camera for circle uh, v for flashlight all of that is available so nice to see that battery now battery life is what you would expect out of a stock 
uh, silage and mod rom there are no there aren't many settings bogging it down so you do have a bit of more battery life than uh, you get with other roms like bliss pop with lots of settings and lots of features so this is much better in my opinion so yeah it does have system profiles which was one of the best features about science and more rom because you do have profiles which you can select and even add profiles which uh, change the volume change the brightness all of that can be customized and it's really nice to see status bar options are available where you can customize whatever appears in the status bar you can cancel out all the icons uh, clock styles are available center clock center small and uh, battery portrait style uh, battery percentage all of that is available it does this is the basic one which you get with the cyanogen mod anything else in you see in any other rom is extra so just know that at least so yeah you do have brightness control by sliding the uh, status bar oh, that's a pretty nice feature to have i really like that show notification count quick pull down all of these are available and that much is it in the cyanogen mod settings menu you do have advanced uh, reboot in the developers option so you can actually go ahead and do that now when you flash the rom the root access is disabled by default so you do have to get in here in the dev developer option and enable it for apps or ADB and apps and ADB if you are using ADB so that I had to do it because it wasn't enabled by default so just so you guys know apart from everything uh, I installed a few applications to just test it out and uh, I have tested the Antutu benchmark score which I'll be showing you guys this is the highest benchmark score which I ever received on this phone which is 153,000 uh, score so that is pretty amazing but there's a catch we're doing the 3d scores uh the the screen i mean the colors were all over the place i mean reds were white and uh the details were black so i'm not entirely sure if uh that is supposed to be how it is it's not supposed to be how it is i i just know that it's not supposed to be how it is but it is and uh well you get a high score but i'm not entirely sure of the performance in game so just so you guys know uh, let me show you guys the boot animation which is basically the uh, science gen mod boot animation for I mean like forever so here is the cyanogen mod 13 boot animation which is materialized cyanogen mod guy and that is it so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM now in conclusion cyanogen mod ROM is one of the guru ROMs this made it possible for a lot of other developers to make a ROM and customize them so that is amazing and this has actually led a legacy it has left a legacy for a lot of devices I there is no device I have right now which I doesn't have a cyanogen mod release may not be the latest one but still it does have one so yeah that's something there so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM uh, hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys uh, next time bye